Good afternoon and happy Tuesday to all of your sunshiny faces. Oh yeah, that's right. Now that it's Tuesday, guys, I can get my sales papers. What are you doing? Oh, it's blurry. What are you doing? <laughs> are you waiting? Is Matthew not home yet? Where's Matthew? Where's your boy? Where's Matthew? Oh, are you trying to call for him? Is he outside somewhere? Yeah, he's still at school. He's at a volleyball dinner. What do you know about where he is? <laughs> is he at a volleyball dinner? Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Anyways, I need to get my sales papers. And I thought I'd show you guys dinner for tonight because I'm pretty proud of myself, guys. After several um, minutes of trying to, I tried to shred cabbage about 12 different ways before I finally decided, I was like, I am just gonna dice it up really small. And at that point, I kind of didn't care anymore. Um, but we had a half of a head of leftover cabbage from St. Patrick's Day. So what I decided to do was use it and add it into fried rice. Um, so I made some veggie, like vegan, pretty much fried rice. Um, everything I used in here was all plant-based, um, I think for the most part. So, um, yeah, this is it, guys. And, um, my mom still hasn't eaten. There's actually not really that much left, you guys can kind of tell, but, um, Matthew won't be eating tonight because um, he, like I told you guys, he is at a volleyball dinner. Um, and so I think it's hosted by the varsity because he had to bring pop today. So ended up, um, he won't be eating. And then my mom will probably come and eat in a little bit. But she's taking a nap. My dad and Jack and I already ate. So whatever is left over, um, I have read that rice freezes really well. So I'm most likely going to freeze these leftovers for myself in a little like personal size freezer bags and then just reheat them in a small saucepan once like let them not let them defrost I think just like straight up um, because what I read is is that like you can make fried rice for yourself and then freeze it. Um, so that's what I think I'm going to do with whatever's left over in here and then just use like a little saucepan. I think you're supposed to add like a tiny little bit of water to it, um, or probably oil you could use and then just reheat it that way. Um, cause honestly, when I got from Jewel, it was free, like a, I think it was some type of fried rice, a uh, vegetarian fried rice. And it was like a double pack and basically it was just that, like it was completely frozen you literally just put it in a saucepan and heated it up um, with, I think, a little bit of oil in there. And you just, like, it was literally like a frozen chunk and you just threw it in there and it defrosted. And it tasted delicious. So I was like, um, and like I said, too, from doing my little research online, is that you can pretty much do it that way. Just freeze it. Um, and then once it's completely cooled and everything, and then just let it um, reheat. Um, by doing it that way. So I was thinking, I was like, oh, well, that's nice because whatever leftovers, I don't have to be like, oh my gosh, nobody hardly ate. And I can just use them, reuse them for myself. So, um, yeah, tonight I had dinner with everybody else. And then tomorrow night I'm going to make, because we've got cabbage leaves that were also left over. My mom peeled leaves off of there. Um, <clears throat> It wasn't actually, I told my dad, I was like, get the smallest cabbage possible. But seriously, though, the cabbages there were, like, still pretty big. Um, and we got, like, probably the smallest size one. But still, we have this leftover. So what I'm going to do is, um, like, steam these or, like, um, let them cook in, um, like, water, boiling water. And then use, make, like, cabbage rolls for dinner tomorrow with, like, Honestly, though, I think I could probably use this leftovers, and it's kind of a different recipe, though. I have to double check and see what it is, but it's like some type of like cabbage rolls, and then you cook them in the oven um, or bake them in the oven, and then you end up um, just adding like tomato sauce or something like that. Like I said, I can't remember. I think it was like a Polish recipe or something like that I found on Pinterest, but I was trying to find like vegetarian like cabbage rolls or like something that I could make that learned like with that um, and I think the recipe calls for mushrooms so um, it was like mushrooms and something else like mushrooms rice and like some other stuff I can't remember maybe it was like shredded carrot or something I don't really remember off the top of my head and then you just like I said use the cabbage the, the cabbage rolls and then you bake them in the oven and then you add um, like pasta sauce over the top so that's what I'm making for tomorrow for dinner um, so yeah, but it was super tasty. Honestly though, I was really upset because we ended up, 
I used more than the recipe said, but I feel like, I don't know, it was, it didn't taste the, like the taste of the sauce kind of wasn't very strong. And I used the very last of the sesame oil that I had left. And so I was like, it probably was that, like it needed, I felt like maybe a little bit more sesame oil or something like that, or like soy sauce or something, but it didn't have like a super strong, like you could taste the vegetables in there, which was awesome. But I felt like, I don't know, it just didn't really have like that, like saucy kind of taste to it um, that I'm used to having. And so I don't know necessarily what it was, but like I said, I think it was maybe the, the sesame oil since I used the, the very last of it. Um, which was still a little bit more than the recipe said, but I felt like that was what I was missing t taste wise. So, um, anyways, though, the dogs are stalking each other right now. What are you doing? He's standing here and then he's standing here and they're waiting to see each other and then they're going to pounce. Watch this. It's going to happen. All right, you guys aren't going to pounce on each other. They're going to. It's just a matter of time. That's why Bravo wasn't looking at me. Charlie, are you going to get Bravo? If I pay Bravo attention, are you going to come running over here? Look at the tore up another toy and other pieces of toy are laying all over the place. Hi, Mr. B. Are you scared because you think that Charlie's going to come and attack you? Look, he keeps looking back like Charlie's going to come and get me. <laughs> You're so little. You're so little. You're so tiny, my little friend. Can you sit? Can you sit? Oh, no, Charlie's coming. Oh, no, no, voice is coming. <laughs> okay, now all the dogs are here. Hi! So anyways, guys, I'm going to go get back to doing a little bit of work. It took me, honestly, like I say, guys, I couldn't figure out how I wanted to shred the cabbage, so it took me way longer than it really should have. But I've been in here for probably the last, like, hour and a half, almost two hours. Probably two hours between eating and cooking the the food. <laughs> so I'm going to go get some stuff done. Um, I did dishes already and I'll probably try and get to laundry as well tonight. But there is a Hawks game on. So I was like, oh, I can edit maybe tonight while I watch a Hawks game. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. So I ended up freezing two of those, um, the cabbage fried rice. And um, I didn't get to edit any editing. I didn't watch the Hawks game because I washed my bedding so I was gonna wash it in here and instead I ended up doing some stuff at my computer so at least tonight I'll have like fresh sheets and everything like that that'll smell amazing my blankets already I just washed them and they already smell great I was like oh, I can't wait till I have some new sheets and everything like that on my bed so that's what I ended up actually doing so I did three loads of laundry to make sure that I could get them on my bed tonight um so yeah anyways though I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys